is these aren't put here as a comparison. But what I want you to see is this one. Compare this one with either one of these. And this is a side chair and this is an armchair. When you're identifying the chair, it belongs side chair or armchair. That's part of the identification. Yes? I have a question about the previous image. Yeah. Uh, the half of the, that make it English and this half of what No, it no. The American might be pad foot too, but the American might be a different foot. So the English will never be this foot. Not never, but usually not. Usually not. Usually not. Okay, it's usually yeah. going to be. Usually good. not. More usually not. Um, um, but wait a minute, where we go? Okay, by the time you hit this, you are hitting the ball and cloth foot. The, the arm are only American or both? Both. The arms don't tell you. You mean having arms or not? Having arms or not, as an armchair and side chair, you always have either one. And the arms are basically, you don't see a lot of difference in the arms between English and American. Um, there are a couple of atom, some atom materials you need to know. The way I am, the first thing that strikes you in that atom interior, outside of the ornament, pastel colors, the ceiling treatment. Then you see details like the columns dividing one section of the room, sometimes. Um, a couple of the rooms, the rooms that I have put on the review, I expect you to know by name. If you can't remember them, at least you better know that's an atom interior. And you look at the fireplace, you look at the ceiling treatment, you look where it had the original carpet, the carpet echoes the floor. I might ask you, give me a couple of characteristics of Adam interiors. The colors are generally the colors of early neoclassicism. Adam's word for it, which you should remember, is integrated interiors. That's what he meant by having everything coordinated. The reason you know this is in a French room is it doesn't have boiserie paneling. It has painted walls and plaster work for the decoration. And this particular one has hebel white chairs. Another one of his most famous, Kettleston Manor. And this one, which I told you is not typical at all, although all of the other characteristics are, but the gilding and the very strong colors are less typical that. I didn't put the tapestry room in here, that, like the one you saw at Clean Court, because it's less typical of that. This one on the left, which is this is Mellon State House, but I didn't put the name here. Um, and I should have moved this over. This one on the right is Mount Vernon. And I put them both because they're blue. And you can see the simpler architecture in the American. Um, but you also see the same kind of treatment, the same kind of ornament. We didn't tend to do this kind of treatment in the ceiling. This wasn't just English. This was Robert Adam in particular. But in this now for the floor, the ceiling? No, this was, they changed the carpet. I mean, he apparently always did the coordinated carpet. He always did integrated interiors. He didn't always do whole exteriors, which